One of the nice things about OneNote is that it is a very powerful product and it's also very customizable. So you have things like pages, sections, like you can basically customize OneNote to make it anything that you want. And that's a wonderful thing. But for me, it also really brings some complexity around how to organize things because it is so flexible. Sometimes it gets complicated how you want to organize things or where to put a specific note or where to put a specific thing. So what I'm gonna do today is that I'm gonna show you how I set up my OneNote following the process of the Building Second Brain book from Tiago Forte. And I'm gonna translate that process that he has for organizing notes and put it into OneNote so you can see how it works. So Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte is a book that shows you how to actually create a digital book, a digital brain around anything that you uh, run into the internet or any thoughts that you're currently having or anything that you're working on. So it describes a process on how to organize information based on a specific criteria. And that criteria is called ARA. So PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive. It is a way to organize your notes and organize your information based on those specific process or criteria, let's say. So let's start with the first one of the PARA process, which is the P. The P stands for Projects. And projects means you're gonna put anything that has a specific end date that you're working on on the projects. So let's say you are remodeling your house, you are remodeling your kitchen, or you are working on an event in your company, or you are working on a specific project to increase sales, for example, and any information that you wanna put inside that project is gonna go into the project area in OneNote. Then the next one is the A, and the A stands for areas. And areas means anything that you're working on that doesn't have a specific end date. It is a long running thing. So think about, well, I am in charge of marketing a specific area in the company, then that's a long-term thing. It doesn't have an, a date. So I'm gonna keep working on that all the time. So that probably is not a project. So you're gonna put it in area because you're gonna keep working on that forever. Let's say you have a podcast. Podcast doesn't have an end date, so you're gonna put maybe podcast on the area because it's something that you have to do all the time, that you have to push an episode every time forever. A website, you are in charge of making the website and updating the website, and then anything that you wanna put on the website, then you wanna put it in the area side of things because it doesn't have an end date like a project. So those are areas. Then you have the R, and the R stands for resources. Resources is anything that you wanna save that might be useful for you in the future. So let's say you came up through an article explaining how to do a specific thing, a recipe, or how to do a specific design on a website, or a specific set of steps that you wanna, anything that is useful in the future that you wanna save it, even a book or a note, you can put that in the resources area because maybe you're gonna need it in the future, you wanna put it in there so you can look for it. And the last one is archive. Archive is anything that you don't need anymore immediately and you want to put it in there. So you're going to archive projects that are ending, areas or responsibilities that you are no longer in charge of, and any resources that you don't need anymore, you're going to archive. So what, that's what Para stands for. So let's see how that looks like in OneNote. So this is my OneNote. And in here, let's start with the P, which is the projects. And on the projects, then you can see that I have different things here. So let's say I'm working on a project to change the design of the left menu in our app. Then here I have a design that I did with in my iPad with my Apple Pencil on how that left menu might look like, like on a rough, a rough design, right? I'm not very good at drawing, so that this is what I have. But for me, it works. Like once I see it, I know what I meant when I was designing. Let's say I have a trip and let's say I'm we're booking a trip for Dominican Republic in 2023. Then what is everything that I need to take? Anything that we need to pack? Any any confirmations or any any reservations? I can put it in here for this project and I can put that information in there. Maybe I'm doing a remodeling of the girl's bedroom and now I need to buy some beds, desk, buy some paint, right? So I'm putting all that information that I need for that remodeling in there. Maybe I have some pictures of what the actual bedroom is gonna look like, then I can add those pictures in there also as part of the notes. But what I did basically is that I created a notebook called projects in OneNote and then I put a list of all my projects here as sections. 
and under those sections then I create pages related to that specific project and I can have multiple pages in here with everything related to that specific project and then I can dump everything in there for those projects. Now let's go to the areas. The areas here, under areas remember that I have everything that is under my responsibilities. So let's say for example, I have the finance side of the company, I'm in charge of those and I have some, I have a section here for finance and under there I have some pages like related to that and some information about banking. So I have all that under finance. Then I have maybe a tab here for marketing and on the marketing I have information about the website and what I need to do for the website. I'm also, let's say, charging engineering and on the engineering I have some pages explaining some information also in there. I also have the YouTube channel here, right, because it's something that I need to work on all the time. And here are some recipes, you know, something that I need to work on, but probably you know what, having a look at this, probably recipes should be under resources, right? Because it is something that I might need in the future. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to move it into the process bucket. There you go. So now let's go to resources, we're already here. So for resources, I created another notebook. And under that notebook, I have, let's say some restaurants that I know that I wanna try, or maybe I have a specific plate that I have or that I like in that specific restaurant then I'm saving all of that in there. Recipes that I have find, how to cook a specific thing. Then I have also put those on the resources because I need it in the future. And even if I am, let's say, browsing the internet and then I find a specific recipe, then you know what? I can just put it in there in my OneNote using the OneNote Clipper from that extension in the web browser and it would and I would put it right in here and I save that in there for if I need it in the future. So you can see that I have other things like some contacts, maybe my Lego collection and I can put some information in there about Lego. So it's basically anything that I might need in the future that I can put it in there in case I might refer it down and then I just need to do a search in OneNote to get that information. The other notebook that I have is archive. Of course, as archive is things that I don't need. Let's say projects from the past. Let's say here is our trip from 2021. I don't need this anymore because that's in the past. Maybe I have some immigration project that we had going on where we had we were working on a specific migration of the app. You see that I have a bunch of pages here and a lot of documentation that we actually did for that project and all of that then I save it here in this project. This one is very detailed. So now that project is done, I don't need it, then I put it in the archive notebook because it's not needed anymore. So I put everything in there. Last but not least, I have another one which is the one that I created for me because I needed, and that was an inbox notebook. And in this inbox notebooks, I have a quick notes section. So in OneNote, you always have a section which is for quick notes. Something that you wanna input very fast in OneNote, it will go into the uh, quick notes section. You enter a quick note in your iPhone or your iPad, for example, those quick notes will go into this section. So that one is shared very quickly in my iPhone. If I need to note anything, then I will put it in that quick note section and it will get synced directly into my desktop or not. So that's the one that I have here for my quick notes. And then here I have anything that comes up and I don't know where to put it. I'd like uh, when I get that information, I don't know where to put that information in which bucket to put it. So I basically just leave it in quick notes. And then when I have the time, then I can just go through here and start putting it in the right bucket and see if I still need it, if I don't need it and where it goes. So that's the other one that I have, those quick notes. So I can put everything that comes into my mind or everything that I stumble upon, put it there and then I put it in the right pocket. So that's it, that's how I organize my OneNote. And for me that this is a very extensible framework. Like once I need and I get more responsibilities, I put it into areas as soon, as soon as I get into more projects, I put it on the projects. And as soon as I stumble into a resource that I wanted to consult in the future, I put it on the resources. So it works for me. I think it's very simple and it's very straightforward. I don't have to figure out or start thinking about where to put a specific information. I just know where it goes right away. So hope you like it, this video, and now you have an idea on how to organize your OneNote. If you have any comments or suggestions, be sure to leave it down there in the comments. And remember to subscribe and get notifications every time that I release a new video so you can get more beneficial tips. Bye.